Good day everyone, I am Kimberly B. Lumasag from Vital Ed ICT 2A and we are the group one which we will be reporting for Mujo One together with my members. Hello everyone, I'm Jolly Mabalad. Hello everyone, good day. By the way, my name is Cheryl Kandyu. So good day everyone, by the way, I'm Janice Mukiling. So my topic is all about title blocks. So what is title block? It is a template for a sheet and generally includes a border for the page and information about design firms such as the title, student and the instructor name, school name, plate number, and the date the drawing was created. So asa makita ang title block? So makita ang title block sa bottom or lower right hand corner. Kung unsa po'y naa sa title block, again, it contains all the information necessary to identify the drawing and to verify its validity. Maotong yung name, name of school, the title of your activity, plate number, name of your instructor, and then sa tuwa is na atong course and course year and section. So, let me show you an example of a title block. So, mao na siya. Katunggingan na ko ganiha. The name, the title, school name, instructor name, plate number, course year, and section. So, now let's proceed to the tools and materials needed in making your title block. So, first, we need to have drawing paper, the long size, and then the T-square. And next, a ruler triangles, masking tape, drafting board, and pencil. So, kasagaraan po sa tuwa o maghimu taog title block. Ruler ra ang ato ang ginagamit. Kaya maporma ra man po siya o title block. Pero there is a steps in making a title block. So, so here's the first one. First, you must gather all the tools and materials needed na kong ginamention kanina. And then second, using the T-square and masking tape, align blank paper to your drafting board and securely tape down. Using the ruler, mark out lines with your pencil around the entire page at 0.50 inch or 1 half inch from the outside edge. And then this line should be small, should align with the direction of the page and should be very light. Muna yung tawag mo siyang layout lines. And then from the fourth stage steps is the using the T-square and right angle triangle. Join these lines to create a border around the entire page. And then these lines should be solid dark lines with no breaks. Para sa border of title block nga lines. Then the fifth is mark 0.50 or half inch above the bottom border line and draw a layout line joining the left and the right horizontal border lines. And then, repeat ang step 5, measuring up another 0.50 inch or half inch from the line you just draw. And then, from the horizontal border line on the right-hand side of the page, which measure 1 inch for the plate number. And then, Toward the right and use layout lines to, mer to mark in the title black and the rest will be divided into three columns with two rows. Draw light guidelines to fill in the title black and then fill in the title black with the appropriate information. And you must remember all lettering should be done in capital letters. So... Freehand drawing or sketching is a process of producing a drawing without the aid of instruments. So, ang freehand daw, wala daw siya gamitin kung dili ang kamot lang nato o ang pencil. This type of drawing is often used by draftmans, engineers, designers to illustrate ideas or to preliminary plans or hurry up drawings of objects. So, sa lara ito nito na makita nga sa mga engineers or sa mga designers kanang ilang mga sketch lang kinaunhan. 
So, dili pa na, ma ma dili pa ma-visualize na itong lang tao. In fact, most articles that are made are usually sketched freehand first in order to get a general picture of their shape or design. So, kanang pre preliminary plans, muna siya, muna siya kinaunan yun adi sir ang magama ang mga dapat nilang magama nga plano once the idea or design is accepted then accurate mechanical drawings are produced um, the accurate mechanical drawings is maon na siya na imo ang final touch drawing nga nagama the sketch may be pictorial um, unsa nang pictorial kanang pictorial kanabitong ma view ni mo on of an object or actual mo siya makita or mga mga image then ma kanang mga observer like kita mga observer dali na to masabtan bitaw kay hinlo man siya ng tawon so ang pictorial drawing na do siya tulo ka dimension in one view so mao ni ang perspective isometric and cabinet drawing or the other term of cabinet drawing is oblique. The perspective is kung tiklik na siya para create siya o mga linear illusion. Like, kung ang object na itong gilantaw nagkalayo, mura po siya o nagkagamay. Mura siya ano, nagkadecrease siya. So, ang isometric, nagfocus na siya sa age of an object. So, mura na sa mga tumoy. Ano na, Dayon. then the cabinet drawing or oblique is more on slanting nga uh, siya nga pagkaklase nga pagkadrawing so mura siya slope drawing siya so ang pictorial daw mura na ang mura siya like mura siya mag illustrate of three object sketching this is a freehand use of lines in different position construction and tones assembled together to form and express an idea and also a preliminary drafting so ang sketching daw diri ta magsugod di ba o kwan like magama tag linya linya sa mga kinaunan na to mga drawing dayon sa sa atong kwan permitin na to kwan na linya linya hantud sa magama na to unsa to ang idea nga unsa ay gampo na to so, hantod sa mabuo siya, hantod sa maporma siya sa unsa, unsa atong product, sa atong drawing. Sketch. It is a draft or rough study of design, form and size of an object. So, for example, aning sketch. Kanang sa mga clothing designer, like, mag-start na yun sila nga, kanang sketch lang, simple ra kayo dili siya yun nga detailed sa design mao na sa garage sa mga actual actual na tumakita sa mga designer sa mga mga clothing designer mo na ilang mga ginagamit sketch ascended is a form of heavy and light elements of letters so ang ascended daw sa gara sa mga artist sa mga paint ilang mga paintings mo nilang gamitin para mas more attractive ang ilang mga ilang mga drawing like butangan nila o brush stroke a mark or any detail that is placed in a painting or drawing to emphasize slant line is an inclined line this is a point of view or sloping so it looks like a slope or pahiga like pahiga ano siya. and go both up and down and across to so mura na siya slant line ka ng mura pahiga siya ng style pa slope mura siya pa slide na. style is the manner of designing or shaping a drawing so dahil lahat man dito ka ng style ng mga artist like for example doodle ka ng photorealism or hyperrealism ka ng photorealism or hyperrealism meron na siya katong 
painting na murag tinod na siya picture ng tawon ng mga cartoon style architectural drawing geometric drawing o tattoo drawing muna siya nga example ng mga style depende sa mga artist o kung sa ganahan dyan nila stroke is the technique of printing letters so sa stroke daw mo doon na itong mga movements when, when you are writing or painting nagamit atong mga pin or brush or mga markers or case letters are the big letters of the alphabets or the same thing as capital proportion refers to the quality standard of shape figure form of object of object or drawing so it can defined as the relation based on size between parts of an or object within the composition the relationship between the height weight and deep the use of proportion is essential for creating accurate image so sakto nga mga image mo ni ang proportion mura pag mura detailed siya mga pag drawing mo and the last one the prehand drawing is performed without the use of mechanical drawing instruments it's it is purely done by pencil rendering so ang prehand drawing daw the kana something na uh, magdraw ta nga wala ta nagdepend sa mga instrument like mga ruler mga kom compass like mga ningana dayon ato na yung gamit kay atong kamot ug ang atong pencil so means wala tay laing guide nga gi gi gamit so magdepende lang pud na sa atong pag sa atong drawing kung unsa pud ta kanindot mo drawing kung sa kanindot tong mga skills so, so let's proceed there have six facts and importance of line sketching so let's start in number one freehand sketching is valuable means of amplifying and clarifying as well as recording verbal explanation valuable means is meaningful so make it sure your work is meaningful like for example, nagahimo ka og video tutorial for freehand sketching. So dapat ang imong pag video while ga explain, make it clarify and the tone of your voice maklaro sad sa mga viewers or sa audience para makatch up nila dayan. Number two, freehand sketches are of a great assistance to the designers in organizing his thoughts and recording his ideas. So, for example, ang designer nagadraft siya mga nga sketch niya, and then kung sa nasulod siyang utok or sa yung mga thoughts or sa yung ideas iya ang gina sketch or yung gina draft. So, in the right time, una ay event or occasion, makapil siya, and then maka-decide siya kung sa yung design na gustong himuon at because na siya talent sa freehand sketching and also he also a designer number three information concerning changes in design are covering replacement of broken parts or loose drawing is usually conveyed through sketches so for example na, for example like uh, nakaipas na design sa inyong company and then sa imong nahimong design na wala or or else um imong design um na ay scratch or something na hugaw so and the best or the other way is to convey through sketches na lang jud number 4 many engineer consider the ability to render serviceable sketches of even greater value to them than scale instrument drawing so ang engineer prefer panila ang serviceable sketching than instrument drawing number 5 the degree of perfection required in a given sketch depend upon it use so naragi sa tawo naragi sa designer on sa pa kung saan niya paggamit sa kihatag na 
Lastly, number six, a free hand and sketch should be made with care and with attention to correct line width. So, una adyo kay buhaton, make it sure na to kanin mga attention and care para ang result nindot, perfect. And also, makorek po ang line sa kalap dun sa imuang sketch. Sketching materials. Number one, sketching pad. This is used when sketches are made in the field and no table is available. Number two, clipboard. When sketching pad is not available, this is used to hold the paper in place. Number three, tracing paper. This is used when multiple copies are needed. This is also recommended for skilled draftsmen or those who can already sketch without guidelines. Number four, ordinary bond paper. Used for making rough drops. And then last, number five, pencil. Recommended pencil to be used. So, ni ay different types na pencil sa fiber castell. In HB, means soft used for sketching and lettering um, for h is extra hard for guidelines and then h is hard for object line and last is 6b means extra soft for shading so guys guidelines in sketching number one a sketch should be made as fast as possible to attain the main purpose, especially when sketching a passing object, like galingkod ka, then ni ay gabay, ming labay sa matubangan. So, you should fast as possible to attain na mga sketch ka ana. Number two, the line should be sketched first in a light tone. So, the light tone in a drawing, it is the area of the form that is illuminated the most after the highlight. Light tone also known as indirect light. And then, those that run out of bounds should be erased and sketch again. So, unay mulapas, unay masayup. So, erase that one and then sketch again. Number three, good quality sketch lines should appear continuous soft and sketchy but right and certain. So, if you do a sketching, so make it sure good quality siya. Number four, long horizontal line should be sketched from left to right. So, kung maga, kuan ka og long horizontal line, so magunag yung ka og sketch sa left and then right. The same as to be line inclining to the right side. Number five, Vertical, curve, and inclined lines are sketched in downwards. When we say downward stroke, directed towards a lower place or lower level. So, kung nagakuan ka o vertical lines, curve line, or inclined lines, so you should start in the downward stroke. Number six, a properly sharpened pencil in conical form should be used to attain the main purpose, which is to produce a good quality of line. So, dapat imo ang pencil, so hait siya or sharpened, da para ang yaang kuan ang result nindot side. Or, we say the, that the uh, it can produce a good quality of line. Number seven, the pencil should be held loosely at about three to four cm from the tip of the lid to the tip of the finger. So, dapat maghawid ka pencil, dapat nakakonsyal three to four centimeter. Number eight, the pencil should be rotated occasionally between the thumb and the forefinger while the line is drawn in order to maintain a uniformly rounded tip. Number 9. Pencil should be sharpened as often as possible for its being soft in order to obtain uniform width of line. So, dapat tahalan ni mo imong pencil um, sa high to make it 
ang imo ang kuan imo ang line is be should be uniform width of lines number 10 eraser should be used as seldom as possible although it is advisable to have on hand always so eraser is must kung kanang kabalo mo drawing so need yun nila ang eraser if na sila ay mga mali so ma eraser nila and then advisable yun na na ay eraser number 11 the arm of the workman should not be left hanging while lining but rested on coarse module the flat surface like in a table and that's all the 11 guidelines in sketching so hello good day everyone again by the way my name is Cheryl can you from BTLED ICT 2A so for today I will discuss to you about freehand sketching step 1 hold the pencil about 4 to 5 centimeter from the tip of the finger to the tip of the lead so like for example this is a pencil so and this is the ruler so, you can use the ruler to measure the pencil about 4 to 5 centimeter. Okay, so. So, step 2. Draw the line following the digested stroke. Step 3. Move the pencil in a long stroke freely to obtain a rightly straight line. So, let's move on to number 2. There are the guided sketches. Guide the fingertips along the pad or board for a long line to the drone close to the edge of the paper. <coughs> Step 2. Hold the pencil rightly but freely along the straight edge of the board with the finger pressed towards the board as control. And then, approximate the direction of the line by out dots and any convenience distances. Then, press the pencil harder only when you are certain or the direction of the line. So, in the another method of blocking in horizontal or vertical line, there are mark, you can mark the distance on the edge of a card or a strip of paper and transfer the, and transfer the distance at the interval then draw the line through these points. Number two, um, you can mark the distance on the paper by tilting the lead of the pencil to the paper. And also, you can finding, we have the finding the midpoint between line AB. So, we mark the total distance AB on the edge of a strip of paper and fold it to bring points A and B together, those locating the center of the crease. 